Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. I'm Christy Copanis at the University of Toledo. The fate of college football is on a lot of people's minds. The MAC was the first Division I conference to cancel their fall season in hopes of playing in the spring. Rockets head coach Jason Candle spoke to the media earlier today. It's always uh, learn from the past, try to produce in the present uh, the best you can and prepare for the future. Um, you know, we've had four, four months of dealing with the past and learning from what this virus has done and, and what could do um, and trying to make the best protocols and the best plan for our players moving forward. You know, the, the future has, or the present has changed quite a bit, um, obviously with no football this fall and uh, what, our, what our routine looks like and how that's all going to be organized uh, you know but the future is is we know that there's going to be football at some point in time and I'm, I'm not interested in you know when Toledo plays BG in the spring or uh, using the excuse that this is 2020 and there's a virus and this is just whatever we know that ball is going to go down and be played at some point in time and we know we're gonna have to be prepared and ready for that so uh, I'm more probably on the offensive side of this than the defense and uh, getting out and trying to make sure we have the best plan moving forward than sitting around worrying about a bunch of stuff I can't control. Also, former Ohio State head coach Urban Meyer was in town today for a Folds of Honor event at Inverness Club. He also talked about the state of college football. It's frustrating, but in the grand scheme of things, you're talking about college football when you're dealing with a pandemic, you know. So, yeah, you have to be bend your knees, stay flexible, and adapt. That's what it is. And, you know, this is serious business, but it's also serious business if you stop the game. You know, you're talking about, you know, some real issues, uh, not just with football, but many other sports. I just, I'm a big proponent. My daughter, one daughter owns her own company. One daughter is a president of a company and they're both college volleyball players. And Shelly and I talk about it all the time is that if you would have took that away from our daughters, you know, I think they are who they are today because they're learning a selfless approach and being part of something greater than self. That's called team. And we are 24 hours removed from the final round of the Marathon Classic, and what a final round it was. Danielle Kang was down five shots with six holes to play. She came back to beat Lydia Ko, but it was a subdued celebration for Kang. Her and Ko are good friends, and watching Ko unravel on that 18th hole was tough for her to watch. It was a bit rough watching um, how it ended for Lydia as well, to be honest, because I'm, you know, it's just... As a competitor and as a friend, you just want it to be a bit, uh, I don't know, that, that ending was, I, I wished for more for her for that one, so we can, I just thought it was going to be playoff. I mean, there are really no words, to be honest. As a competitor, as a friend, I, I mean, uh, she'll, she'll, she'll bounce back, and she's a great player, and she's proven to be one of the best players in the world, and um, yeah, I'm excited to see what she's going to, bring to the table for the rest of the year. And coming up tonight, I will have much more with head coach Jason Candle and a Rocket senior captain on what a spring football season would mean to them. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.